Kamala Harris voters are <laughs> gay. allowed to be psychotically paranoid of Donald Trump. Just listen to this most paranoid video I've ever seen of Donald Trump. This is TDS to a T. Oh, I got too political? My bad. I just don't know if I'll be able to own a credit card without my husband's permission in seven days. <laughs> oh, did I get too... <laughs> yeah, that's right. If Donald Trump gets elected, women, you won't be allowed to have credit cards. Turn your credit cards in. That's your husband's money, not yours, because you don't work. <laughs> What if her husband was watching this was like, you know what? You know what? Uh, I actually am going to vote for Donald Trump now. Because she'd be spending that money. <laughs> I found you 10 minutes ago. I think you're my new favorite. Hank, you're my new favorite. <laughs> without my, I, love, I love this TDS so hard. I had a card without my husband's permission in seven days. Oh, did I get too political? My bad. I just don't know if I want to get rid of overtime in seven days. Oh. What does that even mean? I don't know if I want to get rid of overtime. What? <laughs> oh, did I get too political? I don't know if I want to get rid of overtime. You mean like where Donald Trump says like overtime taxes aren't going to be taxed? Or overtime pay is not going to be taxed? Is that what you're saying? What is that? What? Shout out to TDS. Let's get, let's go TDS harder. I like this. This guy, look at look at his jacket. <laughs> Got my sick zipped up jacket, and I'm performing for gay guys for Kamala Harris. I mean, straight guys. I mean, white guys for Kamala Harris. And I point like this. I point like this because I'm like the Spider Man. Spider Man. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get rid of overtime pay. <laughs> God. Okay, sorry seven days oh i've gotten too political my bad i just want to make sure i have access to birth control in seven days <laughs> donald trump has said he said day one i'm literally going to take away all the birth control off every shelf and eat it myself we're putting it in the mcdonald's we're putting it in the mcdonald's donald trump <laughs> is not pro 100 percent pro-life lady uh Oh my God. <laughs> How many buttons do you need to go down? I hope this makes it to the Kamala Harris campaign video. I look so cute. Okay, next. <laughs> oh, I got too political? My bad. I guess I don't know if I'm gonna be a US citizen in seven days. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That guy has the most American accent ever. He's like, I don't know if I'll be an, an American citizen in the next couple of... Dude, you sound like you were born here. Shut up. <laughs> you sound like you were born here. Uh, Donald Trump said that he's going to lock up people that look like me and take me away from this country because of people that look like... like uh, tedious. In seven days. Oh, I got too political? My bad. I'm just worried I won't be able to love who I love in seven days. Oh. <laughs> who do you want to love, girl? Who do you want to love, you sick freak? Who do you want to love? Furries? You are disgusting with your double nose piercing. It's kind of cute. Who do you want? Trust women. No thanks. Burn me once, burn me twice. <laughs> who do you want to, who do you think she wants to love? Get in the chat, tell me who she, you think she wants to love. Deport those who are unsure. <laughs> yeah, I like that, JR. If you're unsure if Donald Trump wants to deport you or not, you are automatically deported. <laughs> Get out. Get out of here. You're not American. We don't want you in our lives. <laughs> if you are unsure if you're American or not, get out of here. Trump will literally make it illegal to be gay. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the gays for Trump that are all backing Donald Trump are idiots. <laughs> they don't even know how to read. She wants to love the cats. That's probably what it is. Ugh. Girl, you into feline love or what? 
You love those litter boxes, don't you? You just get in that litter box and take a clump and just... <sighs> All right, let's keep the TDS train a rolling. Choo choo, mother... Able to love who I love in seven days. Oh, did I get political? My bad. I just don't want my mother... Is that me? Is that how douchey I look? <sighs> so many people that watch my videos sometimes, they'll be like, you're a liberal. And I'm like, what? How, did, how did you come to that idiotic conclusion? They're like, you have glasses. <laughs> I'm like, what? What does having glasses have anything to do with liberal? And they're like, I don't know what it is, but it's it just a thing, bro. <laughs> okay. I, and I love a guy that has his hands in his pockets uh, with his hat backwards like a douche. <laughs> Talking about, <laughs> worried about his mother? What's going on here? You still live in your mom's house or something? <laughs> Trust all women, the shirt is a real red flag, 100%. I just don't want my mother to be denied her health care because she has a pre-existing condition. Oh, I'm being too political? <laughs> my bad. I'm just fighting for the future of my daughter. Oh, I got too political? <laughs> my bad. It's just that I don't know if my family in Western North Carolina will be warned of the hurricane coming in seven days when the National Weather Service is gone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Trump becomes president, he's literally not going to tell anybody about hurricanes. He's going to put, um, he's going to make an, a mandatory, I'm blanking. God. He's going, he's going to sign into law. If a hurricane or tornado is coming, do not warn the people. Let them suffer. Let's see what happens. And why does this guy have the same beard color as me? Gingers have souls. Okay. Gingers do have souls. I just I just made that clip. I hope you guys enjoy that. That's for if anybody makes fun of me for not having a soul. <sighs> Aren't you voting for Donald Trump like the rest of us gingers? You're such a disappointment to me as a ginger to another ginger. You can't use the hard R. You have to say ginger. Oh, I got too political. My bad. I don't want them to start rounding up immigrants to deport in seven days. <laughs> I got too political. My bad, dude. Red flag. Derek, my eyes are up here. Okay. <laughs> God, look at these freaking photos. What is, who is this? Is that like her kids? Who are those people? And a Harris button? Dude, run. See, you're better off, Ginger. The guy's a dork. Thank you. Why, dude, for Harris? Shame, bro. Shame. You're not quite gay enough. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is that Bill Gates? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Uh, God, I love, I love the TDS in this video so much. Seven days. Oh, I got too political? My bad. The only reason I have a daughter is because of IVF. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody having sex with that. <laughs> can you imagine can you imagine being this poor man's wife look at those eyeballs <laughs> oh my gosh dude oh, another guy that looks exactly like me I'm literally hating myself so much right now I got too political. I just don't really want JD Vance tracking my periods in seven days. So I got <laughs> yeah, exactly. JD Vance has a propensity to track females' periods. That's a huge thing. He he refers to the mailman as IVF. <laughs> yeah, Christina, hundred <100%. laughs> percent. My wife's boyfriend's initials are IVF. <laughs> What, wait, what is I? That's a uh, Inacio Veracian Fernandez. It's me, IVF. Hello, welcome to IVF. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, JD Vance loves tracking periods. He loves it, and so do I. In fact, all you females in my chat, please tell me when your next period is due. God, it's my favorite. It's my favorite thing to, to find out. <laughs> It's important to know.
It's important to know as a man. It's important to know. The bears can smell the blood. It's just the facts. Oh, did I get too political? I just, I just dudes conquer women's sports. Yeah, exactly. I know. When is the right wing going to do a, a rebuttal to this video? Let's keep going. It's almost done. So I got too political. My bad. I don't want Trump to take over the board of education, put in his lackeys, his loyalists, and have y'all continue to think that Puerto Rico is not a part of America. Open the schools. What? Everyone knows Puerto Rico ain't in America. It's a floating island of trash. Hey, thank God this woman is worried about Puerto Ricans. Maybe Baboni could be <laughs> telling women that. <laughs> God, I don't even know, dude. I just love, I love, I love these videos when they, when, when people, especially women, no offense, women, when uh, you get kind of like heated and then you get like really riled up. And then you can tell in her voice, she's like, and then Donald Trump, edu education. So I got too political. My bad. I don't want Trump to take over the board of ed education, put in his lackeys, his loyalists, and have y'all continue to think that Puerto Rico is not a part of America. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm highly educated. And that's an educated thing to say. Floating island of Trump supporters. Okay. Puerto Rico becomes a floating island of Trump supporters. They can become a state. I don't care. Let them vote. Let them be the 51st state. And the 53rd state. <gasps> I knew you didn't know anything. 